Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Well, here it is. School's back in session. The kids are back in the classroom. Oh, thank God. And then it's time to make something for dinner. Summer is coming to an end, and to tell you the truth, I really didn't want to have to turn on the stove tonight. I didn't want to cook. I didn't feel like cooking. So this week I spoke to my mother about making salads. And I mean, you guys have seen me make salads before, except usually when I make a salad, it involves some kind of cooking. But this week, my mom told me about a salad that her mom used to make when she was a little girl. And that was a cold-served cottage cheese vegetable summer salad. And I thought, well, that sounded interesting. So I started looking and doing a little research on the net and really didn't find any references toward anything like it. So I decided that this week, I'm going to make a cottage cheese and vegetable summer salad, the salad that my grandmother used to make for my mother. So as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. Let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, so here we go. This here is two pounds of large curd cottage cheese, okay? And I strained it. I let it sit and I strained most of the moisture out. You know, I shook it and shaked it and got most of the moisture out of it because I wanted it to have a consistency somewhat like farmer cheese. And the first thing that I'm gonna add to it for crunch is some cucumber, okay? Add some cucumber because this is a summer salad. We want crunch. And I'm just gonna fold that in there with the spat Okay. We're not going to cut it in there, we're just going to fold it and get it all in there. And any pieces that try to run away, we're going to pick up and just fold the cucumber in there. There we go. Okay. The salad's going to have a lot of crunch. Okay. There we go. Cucumber, fold it in. Next thing we're going to add, some celery. Okay. And the recipe for the salad will be on my blog at www.richardblaineseasycooking.com and I'll leave a link for it in the description. Okay, here we go. Just fold it in there. Nothing but cold and nothing but crunch for this wonderful, wonderful summer salad. Okay, serve it on a plate by itself or in a bowl by itself. I'm going to stuff some vegetables. All right. There we go. So now we got the cucumber and we got the celery blended in there. Then a little more crunch, some radish. Okay. We're not going to use onion for the spice. We're going to use radish. This bowl might not be big enough. And we're just going to fold that in there. There we go. Get the radish in there. All right. So celery and the cucumber. There we go. There we go. All right. Nice and folded in. This is a very fast salad to make. There we go. Okay. And to that, I'm going to add some scallion. Not regular onion, scallion. Not quite as strong as a regular onion but it adds color and it adds a little spice that complements the radish. Okay, there we go. Fold it in. Fold it in. Mix as well without having to cut with a spoon or a spat. It's just a matter of folding. There we go. There we go. Okay. Alright, looking nice and crunchy. And then to that I'm going to do something that mom doesn't do because this is something that my mom used to eat when she was a kid and her grandma used to make, but uh, Grammy didn't fold cilantro. Uh, as a matter of fact, back in New York, back in the day, when my mom was a kid, I don't even know if cilantro was something you could even find at the market. But I happen to like the flavor of cilantro. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, 
cilantro adds the flavor of summer to many, many dishes, whether they're hot or whether they're cold. So I'm going to fold some nice cilantro in here. Give it some more green. There we go. You see how everything's nicely mixed? Okay. And I didn't have to cut anything into it. It's just nicely mixed, nicely folded in. And I want one more layer of crunch. Walnuts. Walnuts. This is another ingredient that my mother's mother, my grandmother, didn't fold into her summer cottage cheese vegetable salad. But it's something that I'm going to fold into mine to add some richness, some pungentness, another layer of crunch, another layer of creaminess. Okay. I love walnuts. And I love walnuts and salads. There we go. Nice and folded in. Okay. And that's basically it, guys. This salad is done. The only thing left to do is stuff some vegetables. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, guys. There you have it. A nice cottage cheese vegetable summer salad. I added just a pinch of salt off camera because I forgot to do it on camera. Because there's plenty of salt in the large curd cottage cheese. So I added just a pinch. And then I added some black pepper into the salad mixture off camera as well. And here are some ideas. A nice stuffed tomato on the vine. I tried finding some good beef steaks, but the ones that they had at the market didn't look so good. So this is a tomato on the vine, stuffed with this nice summer salad. This is a lovely red bell pepper stuffed with this salad. This is a cucumber canoe. I looked for a cucumber that was still bowed, peeled it, flattened out the bottom, and stuffed it with this salad. And I stuffed some white button mushrooms. Everything on this plate is raw. Nothing is cooked. So this is just a nice, lovely, cold cottage cheese and vegetable summer salad stuffed into some veggies and garnished with some olives. It's lovely, it's easy, it's tasty, it's cooling, it's refreshing. Make this recipe, make it any way you like, make it yours. Okay. If you like this video, please comment, please subscribe. If you have any recipe suggestions, leave them with me and I'll see what I can do and I'll see you on the next video. You take care. Okay guys, so there you have it. A nice chilled cottage cheese and vegetable summer salad stuffed into some assorted veggies. Like I said, you can serve this on a plate by itself or in a bowl as a starter appetizer. It's lovely, it's refreshing, it's very cooling. I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope you make this recipe I hope you subscribe and leave some comments, and if you have some recipe suggestions, leave them right here and I'll see what I can do. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. See ya.